sure about these icons either. Now, somewhere on the board. Might be in this little spot too. But where are the... are actually supposed to be on every one. Oh, okay. So when we clear one of these threats, then this pops over here. Oh, yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, I see. What, Central Park? There should be one more. There we go. Oh, so start no, not until we What about um civilian? That's when uh they pop out. Okay. That's probably the same symbols as what's on the cart too. I don't know what the whole point of this is either. Yeah. Oh, cuts it down. that have these are supposed to start off with them. Ah. At that location. The empty spots are for any additional to start coming. question I have is how many cards do we start in our hand? Working on that. Got it. Just like that. Are you sure head is the symbol? Let me use this Each head Each player the draws three cards from the top of their deck into their hand. Thank you. Well, I got three of a kind. Got a royal flush. Don't ask me how I managed to do that with three cards, but I did. Cheating! <laughs> <laughs> so the pool does mean like all of them. The what? It says the pool. And does that mean these or is that different pool? Place all remaining tokens separated in the pools within reach of all players. Yeah. Just means keep the like ones together. Yeah. Uh, okay. Unlike what we're doing, we just got them all in the box. Yeah. Just to speed up the game as well. Yeah. Okay, so we just completed villain turn, so now we're on hero turn. Hero turn. We collectively choose which hero will start, then they will take their turns in clockwise order. Let's just roll a die. Yeah. Good idea! Sixes is last, ones are first. Oh. <laughs> We're not agreeing to that. Lois goes first? No. Oh. <laughs> but you always roll sixes. Fives. Oh, see? What the heck? What? I was. Hey, I got a five. That's, that's unusual for me. Usually it's a one. A three? It's a 
I got it to work. <laughs> I got the Oogie Boogie move to work. All right, so I get to start this off. Yeah. So during their turn, the player follows steps and orders. Draw. Draw a card. Draw a card. Got it. Play a card. All right. Resolve actions and location effect. Well. Active player chooses a hero card from their hand and adds it to the end of the storyline to the right of the last played card. Mm -hmm. So where's your storyline? Um, it's here, right there, after this one. Wow. We've got a story. Do it like this, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Start pulling it, playing it up. Alright. So, moving-wise, do we move in a certain... Do we go clockwise moving, or does it matter which way? Mm. Uh, if it doesn't specify, I think we choose which direction to go. Okay. I think only the villain moves a certain direction, and it's always clockwise, I believe. Alright. Active player may perform the following actions once per symbol available to them in any order they like. And there is move, attack, and heroic action in wild. And then there's a special effect. That's the only thing. Well, I will play this. It gives you a move and a star. So it gives you a move, which allows you to move to an adjacent location in any direction. So either here or here. Yeah. And then you have your heroic action. This can be used to do one of two things. Rescue one civilian in the active hero's location, uh, or place a heroic action token on an empty slot of the threat card in the active <coughs> hero's location in order to clear that threat. Either way, I would have to have an extra heroic action to or to do anything because of the threat card setting. Let's go there for now. Okay, so you move them there. Yeah. And what heroic action are you going to do? Rescuing a civilian or placing a heroic action token? Um, depending on what one you choose, I can. Tell you what to do. Each civilian in this location requires an extra heroic token to be restored. That's two. Yeah. And two to actually yeah. do it. Yeah, to rescue. So you have to have two of those instead of just the one. Yeah. You have only one. Yeah. Probably just one to put it down there. Yeah. That's... Where can I save them? Can you save your tokens? Uh, if the active... Let's see here. So the active player may perform the following actions once per symbol available to them in any order they like. Um, if the active hero has any action tokens in their possession, they may spend them at any point during this step to perform the corresponding action. Note that when a hero gets an action token, they may hold onto them and spend them during any future turn. So how do you get the action token? <coughs> I think that's what he just got by playing the card. Well, it says... Well, Playing a card, the active player chooses a hero card from their hand, adds it to the end of the storyline to the right of the last played card. No. Oh, I guess 
After that, to resolve actions, look at the symbols at the bottom part of the hero card just played and at the one on the previous previous hero card in the storm, even if they're separated by a master plan card. Each of these symbols corresponds to an action the hero can perform this turn in any order. First player in the game does not benefit from the actions of another hero's card. There's no other hero cards in the storyline. Keep in mind that when heroes unite their efforts, they only benefit from the symbols at the bottom of the other hero's card, not from any special abilities or extra symbols shown above that. Example, if Captain America plays his card combined with Black Widow symbols this turn, he can perform one attack, two moves, and one heroic action in any order. Example 2, Captain Marvel plays her card beside her two heroic actions. She can also perform the move action from Iron Man's card. She cannot use Iron Man's special ability. Okay, so that makes sense. Yep. I'm still trying to figure out how you get the tokens. Unless there's certain things that give you tokens. That might be. They don't say anything about saving. Oh my god. They're giving them a timeout back. Going back on the fuck. Since when they do this? <sighs> Sorry, Roger. You're not seeing another Super Bowl. <laughs> You're retiring of a loser. They gonna get there. How the hell they gonna get not get there? Green Bay just lost their chance. Oh, here's about Position rules for it. Crisis. Crisis tokens are used by certain villains to represent their various nefarious influences. Simply use them as described by the text on the cards and dashboards. Some of them will tell you how crisis enters play and others what adverse effects it causes. So I guess they just sit on the card. Mm hmm. Uh, not sure about the tokens. Because it says if the active hero has any action tokens in their possession, they can spend them now, too. Yeah, but right. how do you get the tokens? They don't say anything about how to get them unless there's some stuff that gives. That's where... Jack. They swap one card from your hand. Tom Brady's going to another Super Bowl. This gravy's been made. I'm not sure. Hold on, that one. We to any other location. Okay. Oh. There's a week. Some of these you can give people tokens. Oh, okay. The cards. The cards. The cards. I, don't, I don't want to have to look through the cards, but if you got one in your hand that tells us that, that works. Okay. That works enough for me. Collect. Yeah. Uh. God, he's going to see another Super Bowl. I him. Okay, so you did watch. your move, and, my, and you placed that on. Yeah. And I think we have to get three of them on there, and then that's... And then the card's gone. Then that's where it is. Yeah. Right on. Oh, I forget you have some good for it. Yep. How about rescuing experiments? You can do that with the same star action. Yep. I'm surprised they're not trying to run the clock. Exactly. There they we go. Run the clock. No. <laughs> Sorry, we got the game on too, yep. so we're kind of okay. So that is now. I think we go into the left, so it'd be your turn. Oh, but why am I giving the villain the turn? So let's see. So location effect may result visible end of turn effect for your location, which 
we don't have that. Oh man. man. Yeah. <laughs> I got first down. Now they're just gonna let the time run out. Get off the field, people. Get off the field. The game's not over. Get off the field. No conscious penalty. I'll check on being KO'd again. Two seconds left, and that guy walks out on the field back immediately. It's when we run out of cards right. in our hand. In our hand, okay. If, if a hero discards the last card from their hand, they are immediately KO'd. Lay down the hero's game piece to indicate they, it must be ignored by all game effects, both negative and positive, and immediately resolve the BAM effect on the villain dashboards. Right. At the start of that hero's next turn, their piece is placed back upright. During the draw card step, the player draws up the four cards from their deck. And when we take damage, here's... So if we have to take damage. Uh, heroes usually take damage when attacked by the villain or henchman due to activated BAM effects. For each damage a hero takes, they must discard one card from their hand, placing at the bottom of their deck. Okay. So there is no discard pile. It just goes to the bottom, bottom of your deck. deck. Okay. Yeah. Okay, villain. Anti-hero, thank you very much. We don't trust the villain. I mean, like if the Joker teamed up with Batman. Very helpful. I hope oh, yeah, Buffalo I beats Kansas card, City. Yes, you do. That's better. Don't forget, you got those too. Uh -huh. Yep. Once I place it down for the timeline. Ooh, wild card. Double wild card. Yes, good play. Yep. That might be where the to those tokens come in play too. One extra heroic. Taskmaster don't play uh, fairly with that. Because I noticed that a lot of his threat cards are like that. What about where we're at? Each. Well, we don't have henchmen there. We got one move heroic, two wilds. I could technically clear one of those things yep. out with three rep. Straight up, one, two, three. Yep. I think that might be the best. What do you think? I, that's what I'm thinking. So, use a move action. Then I'm going to use heroic, heroic, heroic. Boom, boom, boom. We don't even really know this. Them, yeah. This is now resolved, which means this goes clear. Threat is done. This goes away. You may swap one card from your hand with one of your cards in the storyline. Put this here to show which ones are defeated in order. Yep. So you may swap one card from your hand with one. Next. Huh? I think I'm going to go ahead and do a swap out. Put my wild back. And add a move. So you get one move or multiple moves if you click that on one that has a move. Yeah. So that is now resolving in the turn effect. So now you play a card. Intense design for fighting the guy. Yeah, uh, deal one damage to an enemy at your equation. You can defeat a thug, or remove one health from a henchman, or remove one health from a villain. So basically, the punches are for getting rid of these, so they can start going in there. And you have at least one movement right now, and you can do them in any order. So you can move, attack, move. <laughs> 
if you have one other card that has a move and attack or something. Excuse me. Yeah, if you're on this location and you're moving, you have to do a double oh, move. I draw a card at the beginning? Yes, yeah. draw a card. Okay. Oh, okay. Play a card. Makes it more challenging. <laughs> Okay, move this to his timeline so you get a move and a double punch. Okay, so I'm gonna move here and then punch. Pump punch. punch. Not bad. Yeah, not bad so far. Special rules. Heroes cannot damage us in their zone space. Oh, there's also another special rule. We have to get rid of crisis tokens also. Before oh. he can... Uh, heroes cannot damage Taskmaster as long as there are any crisis tokens on any location. Oh. No. Heroes can discard a crisis token from a location with no henchmen or civilians by using a punch or a heroic... So to get rid of that, you'll have to get rid of them first. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep, so we have to be there, make sure not there, and then we use punch or heroic action to remove it. Yep. Okay. Okay, so there's no end of turn effects at your location. Nope. So that was three clockwise hero turns, uh, which actually works good in a three-player game like this so far. Mm -hmm. So that is the... Thing yep. Mm. What's the mi these are the missions, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as soon once one of these missions is completed, then the villain will have a turn every two hero turns. Ouch. Yep. So go ahead, add to the timeline. Oh, he gets to move. He moves clockwise once. Yep. Boom. Then bam goes off. Deal one damage to each hero in Taskmaster's location and add one crisis token there. No, nope. so we just throw a crisis token in. I'm assuming a crisis token still goes in. Yeah. And now there go one henchman at his location and one henchman to each adjacent location, is how I read it. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah. So, another henchman here. Henchman at his location. Look! Another henchman appears. Or are you just cleared? Okay, so that is all of Taskmaster's turn. So now I draw a card. Huh! Interesting. I play this one. Like, symbiote enhancement. What does that mean? Does that mean I get those? Just curious. Yeah. I'm guessing I get those tokens. That's what it means. I, I think mean, so. It's like a ability. Because that that would be like special text area. So I'm assuming I would get those. Either that, or it just means I take those additional actions. And only special I can use effects them. In each hero deck, there is a few cards of a special effect. Box described in the game that apply the listed effect before, after, any other of their actions. These special effects cannot be performed by other heroes. Yeah. I don't know well, that part. This is for you. Yeah. So does it mean I get those actions now, or does it mean I get those tokens? And I can use them now or later. It says it may apply the list of effects. So I'm assuming that means you can just have a 
the tokens, in other words, to use it later. Is that what we're guessing? That's what I'm assuming. <sighs> well, in the meantime, I'm just going to use my double wild anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got two punches available. Uh -huh. I'll go ahead and do that. Going to use one wild as a her heroic action to rescue the civilian. And one more thing I can do, which I can do as a move. Uh -huh. so if you go <coughs> that way, you guys went that way. Maybe I'll head over this way. Sounds good. So I can have a setup. So I would do like that end of turn thing, but that's okay. I'll let you guys use the wild. <laughs> Wait. Shouldn't it have been Travis's turn? In a way, yeah, but I... How did we have me go? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Because <laughs> you started doing the villain thing, and I think you're just like, oh, let's, I'll just go. Travis did the villain thing. Let's just regress that. Please. Three wide! <laughs> He's getting <laughs> <good. laughs> I'm surprised no one else got that. I thought, I was thinking, okay, there's something that I missed in the rules that I guess allows that. I don't know. <laughs> Not a big deal. I uh, need to put my card that I just drew back. Yep. Another fuck up here on the street, folks. Nothing new. Nope, nothing new there. All okay. right. I'll draw. That makes things even more interesting. I'll save that for later. I think I'm just going to do this. Oh! I don't even know why your problem was that. Oh yeah, it's a good question. Um, so he's clearing that out, and then he's got two punches available, which... Are you going to put... You can punch one thug and punch a civilian? <laughs> uh, let's see, you may move up to two civilians or henchmen in any... Combination from this location to any other location. Interesting. Interesting. I'll use one of the punches to get rid of him. Yep. Oh. Yep. And you may move up to two. Well, mm. from this location to any other location. That sounds looks like a good location. That's what I was too. thinking. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Okay. Now. Now I you may this. go. That's the part I wasn't looking forward to, but oh well. It's nice to see Tampa go in. I guess I will just use this one then. Instead. A punch. And a move and a punch. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, so, to start off here, I'll do both punches. Bing, bing. Oh, this seems familiar. Yeah, but the civilian ain't going anywhere this time. Yeah, it is. You have heroic actions. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to use okay. one of those heroic actions. <laughs> <clears throat> now the question is, do I want to move over there, or do I want to move over here? 
have another heroic action. I guess you two are over there, so maybe I'll have one of you go back and do that while I head this way. I think that's what I'll do. Sounds like a plan. So I'll head over here using the move. Yep. Last heroic action to save one of these. You draw, play your card. I have no end of turn effects here. Yet. We're working on that. And you have one punch from the card over here. One punch and whatever you play. I said one punch, not multiple punches at me. But you're a villain though, I gotta punch the villain! I'm not a villain. <laughs> I am the anti hero. Who hates Spider Man? Villain! <laughs> Spider Man's a villain for making him hate him. Uh, I gotta distribute two punch tokens to any players. Oh, yay! Yeah. I think they're on any number of heroes. So, I mean, hmm, I don't want to punch it. So. I have a move. Uh, I might just give it to myself. Yeah, but I already don't specify it. it. So, if I move here, I can use three punches. Punch, punch, punch. Pop a punch? Yeah. I think I'm going to use them myself so I can kill all so those guys. You're using your move action. Yeah. Whoosh. Punch. 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 I'm not too bad. I'm still not a jalapeno person. Okay. Yep. Now, villain. Yep, we'll just make another row. Oh, you get to move three. Ooh. At least it's a length on me. <sighs> what else happens there? Uh, civilians. Civil three civilians come Yay. pop out. That's a good thing. <laughs> that the villain's open us. Overflow. Can't be added to a location. Add a crisis token oh, instead. Okay. Ouch! Maybe not. All right. And well, at least he didn't have a crisis token on his card. This right. is where it threw off as you fl moved the card over there, then it felt like it was my turn. That's what it was. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that could have been. I think that's what happened. So you have a move action plus whatever you play. I had him backwards. <laughs> <laughs> like, why am I drawing this again? It's like, oh shit, I grabbed the... <sighs> Wait, one more. Well, okay. You have one move. You need move and heroic oh. actions and a punch. I didn't oh. read that. I have what? to have the two moves to get off of there. And Heroes using a move to leave this location must use a move move instead. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, that's okay. You just clear it out, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got two things to clear here anyways. So, we have a move to begin with. Villain's chasing me down somewhere. So I need a punch on that, right? Uh, to remove those, I think it's the punch or a, uh, a star. Punch a star, star. But, but we have to but clear it have to have, uh, have to get rid of all the guys off of you. Yeah. Has, yep, has to have no civilians or henchmen there. And in each thug there... We don't have any yeah, thugs. I don't have to worry about it, but I'm just looking at that. That works. I'm just going to play my wild. Move wild wild. So I can move there. Start trying to clear it. Yep. Okay. Nice one. Way that button. It tastes like it. It's uh, still recording up there, though. Yeah. Better visual. Okay. All right.
Sure, why not? I'll play my wild wild. <laughs> so I got four wilds. Uh, let's see here. I'm not ready for him to make more actions yet, so going to use three wilds as heroics to clear this. Mm -hmm. Then I will use the last one to rescue one of these. So that's all for those for me. End of turn. I may discard one henchman from any location. Yeah, I think this is the location I'm going to discard. Can I get multiple it's discarded, things? so. So what? Can I get multiple things? On, I can get multiple threads? I would assume so. Yeah. So you might want to throw that one out. Yep, as soon as we can. Like, yeah. <coughs> I'm almost there. I just don't have any move backs. That was the end of my turn. Yeah. So, knee highs up. He's got two wilds and whatever he plays. I still have my uh, 3 HP or. <laughs> Still range here. Next time. Uh, I know. I just need to get you a big bottle here. It's getting cold outside. Yep, baby, it's cold outside. I got my Seahawk gloves in my pocket. Thirty nine out. That's almost freezing weather. Thirty two. Thirty six. Okay. Uses three heroic actions to clear the stuff. Oh, yeah. I get yeah, it. Yeah, I can move the enemy more cushion. Hmm. Do well, you can move over here and start. But you still haven't finished that one off yet. Yeah. yeah. Turn it and hook the torch right now. Yeah, I'll probably save that up here next turn or whatever. Well, we've got rid of almost all the. It's only two threats. Things out now. Oh, I could put this thing. Yep. There you go. Oh, shoot. We have another one. Yep. I done with that one. Da -da 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 okay, so. So now that? he gets two. So he gets an action. Two people act, and then he gets an action. So it doesn't go through all three of us before he gets a turn now. Yeah, turn now. Um, well, it is his turn now, anyways. Yeah, so when <laughs> you, at that part, it doesn't matter. Yep, but. So. All right, let's see what you got. You got a bam. Two. One, two, bam. Do one damage to each hero at its location and add one crisis token. And we got civilians. Lots of civilians. Yes. Does villains ever attack the civilians? I don't think so. I think it's just that if they get filled up. Yeah. A civilian for you. Oh, here. A civilian for you. Okay. Now it's Travis's turn, then my turn, then the villain's turn again. So I got a star with... Yep, you got a heroic action plus whatever you play. And your location right now is you need 
at least that one heroic action, and then you need either a punch or a heroic action to clear the... The crisis. Yep. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> Star. Which one's your hand? This one. Which one's your deck? That's the only. Oh, I didn't realize we've gone through that many cards for you. Yeah. Because I have all these cards. Up. Are you sure you don't have some missing now? Not that I know. Okay. Well, we'll make sure though. That's always good to play it safe. So, for the one I take out this turn, I have three, four, five left. Oh, did I just see him? Where? Oh, no, it's Ant Man. That's yeah. See, I saw the red border. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Charles made it harder for himself. Yeah, I did. I pulled a Yoda on myself. Because <laughs> me and he have more cars than really? for some reason. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So no one saw that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm drawing my card. Oh, yeah. Did I punch yet? I think you were going to. I think we just didn't do that yet. Yeah. Step in the gun again. That's Did we okay. get any cards back over from over there? For what? We don't get the cards back from over there. I don't think so. I think if we run out of cards, he wins. Uh, um, I think. Yeah, if we completely run out of cards, yeah. somebody, if somebody we get did. KO'd. Yeah. But we can. Let's see. I think if you run out of cards in my hand, he you get knocked out. Heroes down. lose if a villain completes a vanilla spot on their dashboard. Mm hmm. Uh, villain must play a card, but the master plan deck is empty. A hero starts their turn with no cards at all. Okay. So let's see here. I will play Venom. You are Venom. You villain you. Yep. With the move. Glad you admit you're a villain. I'm an anti-hero. Villain. Then I use one of these to clear one of these out. And then I do a punch to take out one of these thugs. And I'm on that. He can be damaged as soon as we get rid of all these damn freaking. Da, 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 da. So that was. Um, that was everything, I think. Yeah, looks like it. Alright, <clears throat> and now that we are. Uh, every two. Oh, correction. Each henchman at this location requires two damage to be defeated. Oh, son of a bitch. I still have that. Let's put that there. That's got to go back. All was covered but one. Yeah. Nick? I just noticed that. Hey, I'll take care of it. So I have one punch. So I need to. 
Man, I should have played a different card if that's the case, though. Oh. Well. Oh, the only good thing is you got the henchman. I can't punch the henchman. I only do one punch. Oh, not the henchman. Uh, the crack. The exclamation point. I can't clear the exclamation point since it says heroes can discard a crisis token from a location with I know. no. So I, I can't it. get rid of any of them. So let's just reverse this. He's gonna rewind this. Okay. So I'm. Yeah. I should not buy that card. Oh. I will go ahead and. Go and just do a heroic action to clear one of these on. Gonna said so we don't have to do that. I don't think so. No, nope, I still think I have to do the others. No? So, will you let me swap the card out? I can, I'll let it slide this time. What do you think, me? What? It was a prison princess. Can I <coughs> well, he's changing his play mind a different on a card. card. You want to play a different card? Yep. So I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah. I can let it slide this time. That's a yes? I guess that's a yes, though. Yep. Because we're still learning this thing. Well, I think we've got most of it down by now, but... Like another move and a punch, pretty much. Don't want to move is the problem. Just gonna have a double punch action. That's on the punch, so in the turn I may discard one henchman from any location. It's discarded. Yeah. Villain charm. Well, he didn't move anywhere. Nope. Add henchmen to Taskmaster location for each punch at the bottom of the last two hero cards in the story. <laughs> Son of a. So that's considered overflow at that point. Yep. Another crisis token. Three crises is at this freaking town square, I tell you. Ah! Either way, it bit me in the ass. <laughs> yes, it did! It's not helping me at the moment either. So now it is me, Heister. Yes, you're right. You're right. I forgot that that uh that little uh, villain so turn order uh, makes me up. Two heroic actions with that punch, you can clear that card you're on. You were there. If how can I get that with a punch? I don't punch them. It's a the crisis. Punch. Whatever crisis. the crisis. You can punch the crisis or heroic oh. action. Crisis could be anything. So if you have two heroic there. actions to rescue them, you can get. Oh, no, I need to draw a card. Punch that. Yep. Oh, yep. I got one. Good. Good. 
Never punch. Yay! This one's gonna be a pain in the ass. I can move to any location. Yep. This one's gonna be a pain in the ass. You better not beat me up, though. Can't afford any more crisis tokens. No, we can't. Now it's Travis's turn. Where are you, Travis? I'm over here. Where the fuck are they? Oh. Heroic actions over there. Best I can do is use this as a move. Or you can just clear out all the freaking. Or I can do that, yeah. Yeah. My plan was to get him. So. Get him to clear that? Yeah, to clear. So move. Okay. Okay, now I think this goes over here now. At least that's how they were doing it. Yep. Villa is now vulnerable to damage. Yep. Alright. At the end of the turn, you may swap your... One card from your hand with one card in the storyline. Story one of your cards. Yeah. Not to see if there's anything I need. You got your double wild. I saw that there, and that's what I was eyeing. Switch that. That'll probably come in handy. All right. So One, that was two. two turns, so Villain kicks open the door again. So. Wrong game. Oh, shit. One, two, bam! The crisis. I'm starting to think maybe the crisis only add when he deals damage to someone. Because these crisis tokens keep popping out like crazy. You can't get to them. Um, three henchmen. One wild. Definitely gonna have to move. The only way I think I can do it at this moment. Tracking. I can move to any location and punch there. And I also have a punch there, so I take the double punch to take one of these henchmen out. Sounds good. Oh, that clears this now, too. Each hero immediately draws one card. We have more HP now. Draw your card, me. Okay. Yep, that's from this. So it increases our health now. I got Ace of Hearts. Until we start having to damage ourselves, placing that out. Oh. Um. So that was teleport, double punch. I have a wild action, which I think I'll use. I wonder, should I use it as a heroic action? Clear one of those, or to. Hmm. There's only one henchman now, though. Is your next card you're gonna play gonna have a punch in it? If so, I don't. Ha we don't have to target that. Um, can be. Can be. Okay, so I'll just use it to clear out one of these civilians there. Uh, 
that's me, Ice Turn Jogger. Two punches to take out that one henchman, or two heroic actions to clear out the two. If you have a punch and a heroic action, that'd be great. I think Travis needs to go target that one. Wild. Double wild. And then you have one wild action left. I think I need to go that way. Yep, Josh needs to head over there to clear that, uh, I can do that. crisis token. You can do that. One, uh, two. Yep. Does he... No, we don't have any in the turn. Shit! Three. He's right back here again. Bam! You deal one damage to each hero in a crisis. And you guys hit get damage. Yep, so one of these cards we have to put out the bottom of our deck. So you gotta choose one card to put at the bottom of your deck. Yeah. And he comes with thugs too. Yeah. Damn it. We just cleared the thug from there. We actually just got the help. <laughs> so I slide some stuff down. Yeah. Okay. So I need to draw a card. Yep. Yeah, let's play this to double up. So you got four wilds, so yep. move. Move. Punch punch. Punch. Perfect. That is now cleared. For now. Yep. And that end of turn doesn't do anything because there's nothing there. Yep. That gets me closer over there to help out as much as now I can. Now it's my turn. Heroic action. Double punch. Single punch to take out one of these crisis tokens. There you go. Now we got to start it is again. And guess what? He's probably going to add more right there. Or somewhere else. Oh, he doesn't. Doesn't move. 13. So if there are no hints. If there are no heroes in his location, place one crisis token there. Yeah, oh, thank God. <laughs> We're finally, okay. Finally, something in our favor. It's, it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. Okay. So you have a punch and... A heroic action. Which actually removes two crisis tokens right there. Yeah. And if you can... Uh, Get two more punches, or a punch and another one of these, you can actually hit him for one. <laughs> Basically, if you have the same thing here, you can get rid of it, hit him for one, and get rid of these three. Or punches. Did you draw your card? Yeah, we're getting low on cards too. Yeah, 
Okay, so heroic action to remove one of these. Mm -hmm. Two punches to remove two of these. And now that he's... Oh, there's no crisis tokens out. Okay, he I is vulnerable to... Uh, damage, damage. Yep. Do one cool. damage. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, finally. Yeah, <laughs> Now it's a, we gotta chase him down. Yep. Now the question is, where is he going to move on his next turn? Because it's your turn, Travis. I know it. I still think you're missing some cards. We went through that though. I have a total of six cards left. You should have a total of six cards. Oh, they might all be in your hand though. Yeah. That's it. I wonder if you got your hands mixed up. No, I don't. <laughs> At some point. I just don't know how you have five cards in hand. That's crazy. Who won the last game? Yeah, but oh wait, you yeah. should have four plus the one you drew. That makes yeah. sense. Five. We had each lost one. Okay. So what I got? Punch and a punch on my side. Yep. I know. That's about as far as I can get. And at the end of the turn, you may move to any other location. <laughs> Yep. But we don't know where he's going to go. I could find out with another card, but that won't really do me any good. Since it's going to be revealed coming up. Well, not... But then you get to choose if it goes back to the yeah. bottom or not. And the action with that card is a punch. And again, <laughs> wouldn't do me any good. Yeah. So I just might as well do a move and a punch. I got one of those sentiments. Move. Punch. The punch. With a punch left over. Yeah. You punch the air. You punch the darkness. You mm. can't punch the darkness. I punched the light as well. I punched. All right, Taskmaster. Let's see what you got. Well, he's not going anywhere. Dark scheme. Again. If there are no heroes in this location, place a crisis token there. Oh, we couldn't have helped, hoped for a better scenario in this. I'll check one more time just to make sure. Captain America. No, they're a Black Widow cards. I think this is the card I'm going to play. A single wild. Woo! Exciting! That way I can do two punches on them. Punch, punch. Move action. End of turn. You may move to any other location. Well, oh yeah, I could have done that. Oh, I don't know if that... Well, actually, no. I'm going to move over here. Because we don't, I doubt he's going to get a zero zero. So if <laughs> he moves no one way. space, or if he moves two spaces, we're there to try to punch him for the last yeah tick, which he should probably have. Hopefully, well, he's got the wild, so he. I think we've got the game. Yeah. Oh shit! Never drew my card. <laughs> Still wants to change my. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Nia, what? it's your turn. You have one wild action. He has one HP left. No, so what am I supposed to do? Nothing. You're supposed to play your card and punch him. <laughs> yeah, and it's a wild, so it can be a punch. <laughs> he doesn't know what I did. Got the drive. Yeah, that yeah. Punch, punch, move, punch, or whatever. Huh. Punch. punch, bam, we win. The match. And I punch him again. Ah. And I move. Ah. Yeah. Kicking him while he's down. <laughs> I killed him in what? <laughs> I'm curious. 
We would have moved here. Yeah. And we would have had civilians. And, and, a, and a crisis token there. Yep. With two, peop two people there to punch them. The oh. one I discarded, where he got to move five. Five. It's like, oh no. Oh. <laughs> It's like, no, 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 you ain't moving around. What was the other one, Honor? We've been zero with a copycat. Add a civ civilian to oh. Taskmaster's location for each star at the bottom of the last two heroes. The other copycat's uh, henchman. Yeah. Yeah, that's Marvel United. Double punch in a regeneration. Get my book out. One of my many, as you know. No, but we survived. I felt in almost to a point a little too easy at one point, didn't it? Well, we are playing the easy boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, for a while, I thought we were going to get screwed because it kept coming over here. Yeah. And then we got lucky with them not moving for two turns. That's what yeah. really helped us. Yeah. Was them not moving. We got to pile up on them. Curious. You may rescue one uh, civilian from this location. You may search your deck for one card and set it aside, then shuffle your deck and place that card on top. Alright, I'll go ahead and grab all the villains. Yes, the villain card. Anti-hero card. Villain. He's not a villain. He's a villain! No, he is a hero. He's the anti-hero. Uh, uh. Hello, Sarah Hina. He's coming to help clean up now. No, she knows I have the drawer open. <laughs> Can't imagine why she, what she thinks he's a little man. She's looking for these. I'm sure she is. Wait okay, Serafina. Serafina. Like, yes. All right, me. Token. Okay. What? Well, since you're the one that got the win for us. After we did all the work. Of course. Well, I'm going to have you start off. What do you think? Um, I like that. It's pretty well, fun. It's pretty easy to pick up two of the ones because we get the hang of it. Yeah. Uh, it seemed a little easier though. Yeah. A little too easy, I but, thought. But, but we, we didn't change anything. I could have made it harder. Yeah. We might want to do that next time. We might want to take out like the single wild or something. And I think we got a little bit lucky too. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did get lucky. And we also faced uh, the easiest one. Like, I thought the Taskmaster would have been the hardest one for some reason. A wild has helped us a lot, so I yeah. think we pick up wilds that make it a lot harder. The hardest one is Red Skull. Crossbones? Who the hell is Crossbones? Crossbones is that one that was in Civil War. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying I didn't see him as a I think it's a good sort of thing. Speaking of what, it says shuffle the villain's threat cards. Is there another deck? Another deck of what? No, you just shuffle and then you place them out there that I know of. Yeah, well, I want to see the other threat cards as well. Oh, the other threat, yeah. There should be henchmen to take out there too. Oh, yeah, of. we don't have the henchmen. Okay, there's these threat cards. And his threat cards. Okay, so those ones must have. Those are up. Yeah, just making sure. Oh, there's more in here. Three. Oh, there's the challenge cards. Too. Oh, challenge. The little cards. Okay, this one doesn't have any henchmen, so it must be all in there. Yep. Red Skull's the one that has them. They showed a they showed a thing for an Ultron. Yeah, I know, but an Ultron clone, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, never mind. They're there. I was looking at the top. That's not too good. I know where. No, no, he doesn't have any henchmen. Um, he's weak. Well, he has this stuff. He's weak. Speak of much, how much health yeah. does the other ones have in a three player game? Ultron's got eight. And so does. Uh, Okay. Yeah, we got the easy one. Yep. Yeah. At least we got lucky enough. Yeah. I think ours would be hard with no wilds. <laughs> Here's the stuff for the cave. Here's these dark cards back. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was. Just at one point, I just think it felt a little too easy. Might have been just the luck of the draw on that one. Well, when he didn't move two turns in a row, yeah, and I, everything was here, and we were gathered there, that's what made it easy. Yeah. yeah. Your wild thing but if he game. kept moving around. Yeah, the wilds kept helping. You're yeah. too wild, and then you got to reach, you got to get it back, and then use it again. Yeah. That helped yeah. a lot. Yeah, because it cleared out two <clears throat> of the threats right away, basically. Yeah, you have the box. <laughs> I can't put it away without a box. Yes. Yeah. Man, this cards feel very cheap. Uh, no. Top top hassle. <laughs> I thought that was really good. They are so particular on Dice Tower about that. Beauty Strawberry. feel pretty thick to me. I, I've felt thinner cards before. So I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know who goes where. Does it really matter? You no, know, I think they fit differently. Oh, I know where Venom was. Venom's right here. Yeah, he was with the rest of the villains. <laughs> and a hero. <laughs> he is not a hero. <laughs> yeah, I think that would. <clears throat> All right, Nehai, what do you score this? I think I think it was much easier because of it. <laughs> what I think the luck and stuff. So I think I'll give it Don't a four think and a half. Gonna go. I'll give it a four and a half. Four and a half? I'll give it a four. For not being a DC game, I give it a two. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'll give it a four. I was say, shouldn't you put all those on the no, no, no. That's where the cards go, is in the center. Well, what is or wait a minute, no. I think it was to keep them separate, but yeah. we didn't care about that. The villains was in one side and the... Here's Average threats four. and the challenges. Oh, that's it for Marvel's United. Uh, we'll be back for our next game. Nick, will you hit the stop on my phone? <sighs> Not that way, you...